about to experience the biggest glow up on my channel. From home renovations, moving in, not being unpacked, and wearing the same clothes for multiple days in a row, today we are taking the first shower in my new house because we finally have hot water. Let's take a much needed shower and get this glow up ready for something very, very exciting that I'll tell you guys about after the shower. I'm gonna eat breakfast really quick. I let my hair air dry. We are having a hair appointment today. Obviously, if you guys have been keeping up with my videos, you guys will know that I have been literally in so much chaos lately from buying the house to renovating it to moving in and everything has caused my appearance to physically suffer so much. My hair is grown out quite a bit from the last time I did a toner. I haven't had eyelashes in a couple of months. My nails are literally the crustiest they have been in my entire life. My skin in general, General. It just feels so dry. I've been having a lot of breakouts I think because of all of the dust that was in the house throughout the renovation. I desperately need a glow up I am going to New York Guys watch my New Year's video. You guys would know literally put this on my vision board and it's on my home screen I don't know if you guys can really see it. It's right here in the corner I put my vision board that I wanted to go to New York But because we bought the house right now in September I was like, oh, whoa I'm not gonna go to New York this year because that's like a big expense and I rather you know have a house and think about traveling a little bit more next year But I literally got this opportunity handed to me and I'm going to New York paid by a brand Going to an event and it's like actually like a work opportunity. So I am so happy and so blessed I was actually online shopping last night I paid for expedited shipping because I'm leaving a four days So I need the clothes to get here So step one on the glow up to-do list to go to New York is going to be getting my hair done 20 minutes I'm gonna eat lunch. I'm supposed to be leaving now literally right now but it started raining out of freaking nowhere and also we need to put in all of the boxes so i'm in my pjs like this i haven't gotten ready and i'm probably gonna be late but our clothes and most importantly all my dad's tools were outside thankfully the tools are all saved i don't know about everything else though like the baseboards we had outside they all got wet we put them inside hopefully they dry off because it is going to be really hot the next couple of days but they did get wet so As I was about to start getting ready, it starts pouring and we have all of our boxes outside, all of my dad's tools are outside, all of our doors that we were painting, baseboards, everything was outside. And so we started scrambling and honestly, it took me an hour extra, thank God. I was trying to get there an hour early because now I'm gonna get there right on time. If not, I would have gotten there so freaking late. I look like a hot mess because I washed my hair this morning and I didn't blow dry it or anything, it just stayed like this. So here is like my before. This is the reason why I want to get my hair done because the tips are like a little bit lighter and then the top is pretty dark. I said I wasn't going to dye my hair anymore because I started seeing grays in my hair and I was so scared. I was like, ah, I need to take advantage of my natural hair while I can. But because I am going to New York next week and it was such a great opportunity, it kind of like switched my mindset about things. I was like... I can't be living with that thought in my head of like I'm growing old and I need to take advantage of this right now by not doing things that I want to do because realistically I do want to get my hair done and it's like why am I going to be wasting this time that I can do my hair however I want because I want to take advantage of having natural hair for what? Honestly, I don't know my perspective just switched a little bit and I thought that it would be a better idea to just do with my hair As I want to do right now because honestly tomorrow is not guaranteed and also because the grays are inevitable I Take advantage of doing whatever I want while I can so yeah, New York is changing me and also I am working with Peloton I'm gonna be an ambassador for the next three months and I actually just received the bike this morning I haven't tried it out or anything, but I'm so excited to try it out because it looks like a really good system for me to be able to work out from home you briefly saw when they delivered it like some of the features that it has and one of them is like doing a ride through a scenic route and i've always wanted and i thought that would be such a good idea to have things like that to be pretend like you're running through like a new city or a nice mountain and peloton has that but i'm rambling and i'm now actually gonna be late so let's go to our hair appointment i'm kind of scared because it is raining not so much here but the oh my gosh it's getting so Oh my god, okay, I need to go. It's getting so cloudy here, like getting foggy. Oh, 
And I made it. It's 404, so I'm four minutes late, but it was raining so freaking hard on the way here. So scared, but uh, we made it safely. Let's go into our appointment. Ricardo comes and he'll always like go shopping or buy holy food so he requested some so we're stopping my hair midway through half of it is still wet half of it is done he was actually gonna get the chocolate for me because there's a apparently they're selling a Dubai chocolate here at the Rocky Mountain store or something like that I'm gonna get that I'm gonna get Mongolian and then we're gonna come back and finish the hair so let's go get that first place I always go to is called American Con it's this place right here Mongolian grill you like wrap everything and then they cook it for you the food is being cooked I have the goods now let's go back to drying my hair my hair is done my freaking camera died but my hair is all done it looks a little bit darker right now normally like the first day looks a little darker and then it washes out a little bit but i did like bleach my whole head of hair well the part up here that was darker they're like a chocolate brown color i didn't want to go blonde and i don't want to like steer away so so much from my natural color i just wanted to give it a little bit of pizzazz i get the mongolian grill and the dubai chocolate bar i'm gonna surprise ricardo with it so i'm gonna go home tomorrow i have a nail appointment and i'm getting my lashes done That hits. For real? Mmm, so good. Try it. Mmm. Mm. You guys get to see my hair in like a little bit of different lighting right now. It's just like one even color. Good morning. Look what I had to wake <laughs> up to. Thankfully, my dad and Ricardo are fixing my life. Bad news. We woke up to the news that the battery on the car is literally dead. Thankfully, my dad is here. He's here for the last renovations on the house today. And he's helping Ricardo change it right now. But that means I'm going to be late. Also, I have my glasses on today because when I do my lashes, I can't have my contacts in. So we're going to look like this. Today. I just made it to the lash appointment. This is my before, you guys. I've been looking like a bald cat for literally like five months maybe on my drive here low-key i kind of got lost i took the wrong freeway anyways let's get our lashes done Nena loca, me tiene loco en la cabeza cuando me my lashes are done thank you so much for coming thank you for having got the classics done and they look so good they're perfect because they're not like too too bold in my face since i've been doing the natural makeup but they look good enough to be able to have them when i'm working out in new york and all of that fun stuff that is part two now let's go home to get my nails done okay it's some that is so beautiful chantal got me such a cute housewarming gift and oh this is so pretty for my house wait oh there's a drive behind no way! I told you I was. <laughs> oh my god, we have this queen joke. And dude, does she do this all by herself? Yeah, she did. And I'm back in the car, you guys. You guys get to get a little bit of a better view now. Look how freaking beautiful the lashes look. I asked for classic lashes today, so they're a little bit more on the natural end. I love them a lot right now for. The occasion because I am going to be taking a workout class in New York with Peloton. Obviously, I can't sweat off the lashes, and I'm going to have these beautiful lashes while I'm biking. Let's go and get my nails done, of course. I'm going to get a burgundy color because that's like the perfect fall color for right now, and I feel like it's also giving like New York vibes. We're going to do almond. I think I'm doing a design, but we will see. Hi! Oh la la! My dad! 
dad installed the range head. So cute, Edgar. Baby, baby. You made all of the horchata yeah, in the slush. So yesterday we bought this slush hey, maker. Or this is for Cardo's. Oh, yeah. One, two, ten. Zero. Ooh. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, wow, babe, that looks amazing. Another day, another dollar? Another day, another dollar. I need no money, no money, no honey. <laughs> Valeria just left and I have my nails done. Look how freaking cute they are. They are giving the most fall vibes, New York vibes, and also with the lashes on. Oh, she's a whole new girl already and then the hair's already done. I know this is more of a glow up video, but I guess I could include a little bit of a home update. It's happening in real time. My dad is finishing up like most of the things that needed to get done and we're installing the new stove. They're putting it in. This new stove looks so freaking modern and nice and especially with the rain shirt on top It's the next day. I am loving my lash extensions I'm still wearing my glasses because I can't find my contacts Ricardo is actually on a mission right now to find them This has never happened to me before but this is the first time ever where I am stressing because I don't know if I'm gonna make it on time to my flight I have four hours to do everything so let's get to packing Okay I definitely went online shopping. I've got so many goodies. I kind of forgot already what I got. Oh my god, I almost forgot about this. I bought these cherries with my denim purse, which I've been obsessed with, by the way. I can never have nice glasses because I have such a round face. They just look like Johnny Depp glasses like this because they're just so small. So I'm hoping that these are kind of oversized. Frame is actually really cute. What do you guys think? I can't really see myself because I don't have my contacts or my glasses on. I think I like them based off of what I can see. What's next? Wow. Oh, I think that's what the cherries were for. The cherries on this purse. Okay. Knee high socks. I know exactly what is in here. Let's see if we like them. These are super cute. These are my cute shoes. I'm so excited for these. I really hope these ones fit me. Actually, if these ones don't fit me, I might just start crying. I got this little charm for my phone. I also got this pink one. These both are so cute. Dude, I did so good that day. This is like a heart necklace. It's like a little charm. Guess what you just found? My contacts. Bow earrings. They're so cute. Thinking cute. Anyway, I was saying that if these shoes don't fit me, I might just have a meltdown right now because I've been eyeing these shoes everywhere, especially when I go to Ross and Marshall. The other day I went with Erica and Emily and they both found these really cute shoes, but they didn't have them in my size because I am literally a giant size and they always discriminate against my pen sized but, but I did get these. With this Hollister package, these are all of the things that I bought for my clothes. What is this? This is a really cute skirt that I wore the business casual dinner. Wow, I'm gonna tap dance in these. You really are. Ta -da -da. You know that they're ballet shoes? I love them. Like burgundy crew neck. It is oversized, comfortable. I'm kind of upset because I love this color, but I feel like I got it too big. It's like way too oversized. Oh, I don't know if I should still wear it or if I should return it. Collared shirt under to make me look a little bit more business vibes. This is making me look like a joke. The heart chain. I think that'll be a good like business casual look, right? Yeah, I think that's gonna be good. This one is the same size, but I feel like it looks a little bit less like oversized, even though it is really oversized. I'm thinking of taking this one instead. Still putting on the heart necklace. Wearing these ones on my feet. The glasses, the purse. Time to finally start putting everything in the bag. This is the suitcase I'm taking. I need to take a shower after this and dry my hair and everything. So let's try to make this as fast as possible. Because if not, we No. Welcome 
to my restroom this is the first time you guys are seeing my restroom like in use on my channel I just have a curtain liner that we literally just put up right now for the restroom we have I have never showered here before but I have my first shower ever but I went ahead and packed all of my makeup in this new bag that I got from Marshalls it's so freaking cute and it's huge it literally fit all of my stuff in here perfectly i also went ahead and packed all of my toiletries off camera because it is really really late guys i only have about an hour to like finish everything and i wanted to dry my hair and i wanted to curl my hair up <laughs> let's hop in the shower real quick and do an everything shower i need to wash my hair i need to shave i need to exfoliate and everything oh my gosh okay let's go take a shower and i'll see you guys after <sighs> look at that freshness i kind of feel like my old self the best shower i've had like in the last month or month and a half it was so so relaxing i also felt like i got every nook and cranny of this body i do need some lotion and i have no idea where we have any i think i'm just gonna have to buy some at the airport also i'm not gonna have any time to style my hair i am flying first class for the first time actually i'm really excited about that but that also means that i get the perk where i can go into the like first class lounges so i'm gonna try to dry my hair there or style it there the ootd ricardo gave me this for a gift the other day i think it's super cute leggings and then my sea salt new balances with some long socks that concludes this part of the glow up i'm gonna have a dinner in new york that i'm gonna get ready for that is where we're gonna completely have the transformation with all the clothes we bought all of the makeup the hair and everything so let's fly to new york for officially 24 hours actually a little bit more than 24 hours i landed yesterday morning and it is currently 5 p.m i have about an hour to get ready so we're gonna do the final glow up i have the goodies that i packed already i also put my hair into the roller because i curled it this morning before i went to the peloton event which you guys are gonna be seeing that in the next vlog i've been having so much fun with peloton we had like the whole thing today and oh my gosh i'm so excited for you guys to see everything new york was so so humid yesterday and like literally everything was so freaking frizzy and i don't want to curl it again but it already has like some sort of shape so i was hoping that in the next like hour to an hour and a half it'll look a little bit better if anything i'll just touch it up let's do our little new york glow up makeup while we yap and i'm in my little hyatt robe hyatt works with peloton so they're hosting us here and oh my gosh this room is so fancy so cute i will say it's one of like the smallest hotel rooms i've ever been in like it's a pretty small room but it's so fancy like it looks so nice in here do you guys hear that <laughs> if i thought la was crazy new york has definitely been wild all night all i was hearing were sirens honks and like today during the day too like so so much honking i will say way more than la but i have been loving at least where we're staying right now oh my goodness everything is so beautiful like i said you guys will be seeing everything in the next vlog but just to get you guys excited today i landed and i came straight to the hotel because i was just like too scared to go far away it's my first time obviously being on a trip by myself it's my first time being in new york period so it was a little bit scary remember the model that i said at the beginning that we weren't gonna be like acting out of fear and just trying new things out well i took my own advice and i left my luggage at the hotel and i just started walking outside i had one destination and that was petco because i had seen on the way here that there was a huge petco in union city and so i just walked my butt cheeks away and i got lost <laughs> it was so so freaking funny because i was walking for like a whole two blocks and then i looked down at my map but initially it was the map's fault because it wasn't loading so when it finally loaded i was like five minutes away the hotel was supposed to go the complete opposite way so i was 10 minutes away at this point so i walked back and i was in front of the hotel for a cool minute i was like trying to figure out where i had gone wrong and which way was the right way and then i got it together and then again two blocks down for some reason i got lost again but this time i went to target i saw a random target that was like right there in the corner so i was like we need to visit target here so i visited target then i went to chipotle and i saw nyu university which i did never expected a university to be like this close to the city like you guys are just like living your college dreams walking out it's the city there's a lot of vibes out here stores restaurants 
how do you go to school is my question because like don't you just want to always be out and about shopping and doing everything but school we got back on track again of course and this time i actually made it to petco um the petco was two stories high i walked in there i saw all of the cute toys and then i went to barnes and noble let me tell you guys the front of barnes and noble oh straight out of the dream it looks like harry potter from the front the architecture amazing i went up to the third floor and they had a cafe there that i sat next to the window and i was just chilling there the whole time i had my headphones on i was looking out the window playing my music it was such vibes like i said this is my first time ever like traveling on my own so it's like my first time ever just like exploring on my own so i don't have anybody to like necessarily talk to or like tell me what to do and stuff and it's a little different because i always am yapping with someone whether it's like the camera or ricardo or somebody but I wasn't really talking to the camera because I was embarrassed and also like nobody was traveling with me. So I had like all of this time to just like take in the moment and I was just like so grateful for everything and like this huge opportunity. That was yesterday. I came home like super early. I think it was like, um, oh, actually I forgot a part. I came back to the hotel and took like an hour nap. I went on a meeting with my manager. I got to meet one of them in person and it was like so good we had like a long like one hour chat i got actually this matcha that is sitting right here on this counter it was good but it's just a little bit like too not bitter necessarily but just it wasn't sweet enough for me like if you know me you know like i like my drinks sweet i don't really drink coffee but when i do it's gotta be sweet same thing with the matcha and it's the reason why i don't really get any of these drinks because my sugar intake would be through the roof so i choose not to i also like don't really like coffee obviously and matcha i do like it a little bit better but if i can avoid the sugar i will anyway after that really long chat i called ricardo for a little bit but he was a little busy so i didn't really get to talk to him much he hung up and fell asleep for the next like four hours i was hoping that i could sleep through the night i woke up at midnight to a door slam and i just got up and i was like what's going on what's going on and because of my adrenaline and all, I wasn't able to go back to sleep. Carl's birthday was like, what's today? But last night, when it turned 12 a.m., it was going to be his birthday. And we're three hours ahead in New York. So it was midnight for me. So it was his birthday technically for me, but not for him yet. We did this really cute birthday celebration. He went to Stater Brothers and he bought sushi. He bought a cheesecake. He bought some candles. And then he went home and he like plated it all up in a little wood board. Just put on the little candle on the cheesecake. And after that, it was like... 2 a.m. and I was able to fall asleep right after that but I woke up at 6 a.m. today and I'm so proud of myself because I actually got my work done this morning. I went to the event and now we're here. Now you're all caught up and you have to watch the vlog that comes out next week. You guys will see everything actually in action. I know a couple of the girls brought their husbands on the brand trip and I kind of wish that I would have brought Ricardo as well and it just wasn't meant to be i guess but looking on the bright side of things i am kind of glad that i came by myself it has made me grow up a little bit and mature like now my first experience traveling by myself and being in a new location by myself won't be as scared you know to do any of those things which is a part of growing up and i'm super glad that I took my own advice earlier because when i said it low-key a part of me was like am i actually gonna do it am i actually going to be like this social butterfly not be scared of things not be embarrassed not be awkward i was second guess you know when i was saying it on camera but guess what i actually pulled through and didn't chicken out Ayy. back on a lot of blush because i feel like I'm a little washed out right now or maybe it's just the lighting in here that i'm not seeing myself the real colors that are on my face already some mascara for my lower lash line I do have my eyelash extensions which have been coming in clutch i hate to admit this but i love them because i want to be a natural girly but i fear i'm obsessed again and addicted again already i'm gonna take out my rollers also you guys already know the outfit that i ended up picking so let's put it on we need to take some cute pictures a cute tiktok and the sun is about to go down so we need to do this as fast as possible so we can go down do our final reveal for new york and we're done you guys are not ready for this outfit change here it is ah, stunning love the boots give it such a nice touch 
I'm gonna head out for dinner, but this is the final glow up. I'm gonna post the pictures that I take if I'm able to take some because it's already like pretty dark outside. But I'm gonna try to take some with flash. But that is my glow up for New York City. I love you guys. Bye. I'm a